Welcome to the Fermented Homestead. If you're new here, my name is Anna, and on this channel, I'm sharing our journey of learning how to turn our home into a homestead. Today, we're gonna to be doing something super different. We're gonna be making a recipe called Carrot Cake Jam. I decided to make this video. I saw, I'm 97% sure that it was, an, that the Needy Homesteader had done this recipe and said it was super delicious. I have a ton of pears and I'm just trying to go through all the different recipes to make, to make as many different pear recipes as possible before these things go bad. So this thing fit, fit the bill, it takes pears. <laughs> so we're gonna make a double batch and it calls in a, in a single batch. So we're gonna double everything I'm about to tell you. Uh, one and a half cups of uh, peeled, grated peeled carrots, one and a half cups of chopped cord peeled pears, uh, one and three quarter cups of canned pineapple, including the juice, uh, three tablespoons of lemon juice, a teaspoon, a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, half a teaspoon of cloves. So we're gonna combine all of those ingredients that I just listed in our pot here. We're gonna stir it up, we're gonna cook it, all the things. Um, and then afterwards, we're gonna combine a package of uh, fruit pectin and then six and a half cups of granulated sugar. So this is certainly not something that is keto approved. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna start putting our ingredients in the pot that we need to, have them all pre-measured, except the pineapple. The pears were sitting in some lemon water to make sure they didn't brown too much. There we go. We still need to measure these real quick. Okay, so we needed one and three quarter cups, so we're gonna need three and a half cups. Let's see how much is in here. All right. Three tablespoons of lemon juice, so we need six tablespoons. Just to make things easy so I don't get my, my spoon wet uh, before I'm done. Do the spices first. And this recipe does say to prep the canner and the jars ahead of time. We've already done that. I have far more, um, I have far more. I have far more jars, jars in there than what this says I will need. So I'm not gonna stress that. Let's get that lemon juice in here so we don't forget. Turn this guy up. It says to bring this to a boil over high heat. Once it comes to a boil, big chunks of pineapple. I kind of wish I cut these up. Okay, so once this comes to a boil, we're gonna reduce the heat and we're gonna simmer it for 20 minutes, stirring occasionally. Now that it's cooked for the 20 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and we've turned off the heat, it stopped boiling, and now we're gonna go ahead and add in our pectin. So it says to whisk in the pectin until it dissolves completely. So then it says to bring to a boil over high heat, stirring frequently. So while we're stirring frequently, we'll portion out our sugar here. This is so much more than I feared it would be. 13 cups, crap, okay. Okay, so we're gonna return to a boil. Now we're, it took a while, it took a long while. All right. We're gonna add the sugar, it says all at once. Okay, once this thing gets going, you're gonna wanna wear an oven mitt, in my experience. I ended up moving the pot over here to the stove. It was just taking too long. And that was a good move because like almost instantly within like, not instantly, but within two minutes, it started to boil. So we're, I would call this a hard boil that you can't stir down. So we're gonna set our timer for one minute. Here we go. 
I'm going to take this off the, off the burner and we're going to start putting these into our jars. We're going to do this real quick like. We're just going to fill up as many of these pots as we possibly can. This is, uh, I believe it says a quarter inch headspace, so I'll double check that in a second. I have a good feeling about this one. I think it's going to set real nice. So we'll just go through and top each one of these guys off. This is so sticky. No way this doesn't set. Okay, I have a good strong feeling this is gonna be a double wipe. <laughs> so, we're gonna wipe the rims with vinegar to cut all, all of this goop sugar water that's on them. So, each one very well all right so now we're gonna go ahead and just put our lids on and then it can go in the canner and we're gonna be using our four jars lids today like always because they're awesome if you guys want if you guys want a link to four jars, check out my description box down below, and you can also get an extra 10% off of their already low prices. And if you order more than, if you order at least $50 worth of stuff, you get free delivery. So, yay. To our already hot waiting camera. All right, so we got uh, everything in our canner here. Yes, I'm cooking, um, water bath canning these in my pressure canner, but you can see the lid is just resting on there. It's not, it's not going to be sealed, and it's not going to come up to pressure. It's simply, um, it's the, my best pot that I have for doing water bath canning. So. <laughs> Yes, it's in the pressure canner. No, it's not pressure canning. We're gonna process this for 15 minutes because of our elevation. The book says 10 minutes, but because of our elevation, I need to add an extra five minutes to every time I water bath can anything. So this is gonna go for 15 minutes and then it, we're gonna take the lid off, turn the burner off, let it cool for five more minutes, and then we can pull it out of the canner. This recipe actually made 14 jars, 14 half pint jars plus uh, this little bit here. So I figured, that since I have this little extra here that I need, I'm just gonna pop, go ahead and pop in the freezer, fridge. Um, let's go ahead and give this a taste test. Uh, this doesn't have a whole lot of the pears and the, the pineapple chunks in it. It's kind of just the leftover. It's almost like a jelly, but it should be pretty tasty. So let's go ahead and give it a try. That's so good. That tastes like carrot cake. It tastes like a sweet carrot cake. Very clearly, it is very sweet jam. So if you don't mind the high sugar content, I would definitely recommend making this. I'm sure that there are ways that I do not know, or I should say there's, I'm sure that there are recipes out there that you could reduce the sugar on this one. If you guys have any tips on that one, let me know. I would like to make this recipe with less sugar in it. Uh, this is not something that I'm very likely to have a whole lot of, but my husband would, will love this recipe. I know that for a fact. He loves sugar and all the things that go with it. So I definitely have high confidence that he will enjoy this recipe. It is super tasty. It, it really does taste like carrot cake, but sweeter. So it's really good. I, it, it, I just, the amount of sugar in it is just kind of mind boggling. So our jars are ready. They're ready to pull out of the canner. At any rate, if you guys are new around here, we just moved to our 30 acre homestead in Southern Missouri. And I'm sharing with you all the things that we're doing to turn our home into a homestead. Most of that's here in the kitchen with, with food preservation, canning, freezing, dehydrating, and fermenting, as well as sharing with you ways that you can use that preserved food in your everyday cooking. If that sounds awesome to you, click this button right here. This is the subscribe button. This is what tells YouTube you want to come back here. Up here is a video that Mr. Google Pants thinks that you're gonna enjoy. If you got FOMO and you wanna know what we did yesterday, just click this button right here. That'll answer your question for you. And then up here is our canning playlist. Check that one out for all kinds of inspiration with your canner. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time, bye.